السلام علیکم اٹس تھرٹین اپریل ٹو تھاؤزینڈ مارکس ون اینیورسری آف جلیا والا باغ میسکر دیٹ ہیپنڈ ان امرتسر وچ از اے پرائم ایگزامپل آف برٹش بروٹیلٹی اینڈ ان ہیومین ایٹیٹیوڈ آن تھرٹینتھ اپریل نائنٹین نائنٹین دا لینڈ آف پنجاب اینڈ اسپیشلی امرتسر واس کارڈ ود این ایونٹ دا سلائٹسٹ آئیڈیا آف وچ کین برنگ چلز ڈاؤن یور اسپائنل کوڈ اینڈ پلنج اے نیشنز ہیڈ ان اوشن آف شیم فار اٹرنٹی بٹ اف یو آر برٹش then possibly no amount of shame can hurt you. In 1915, the provinces of Punjab and Bengal were experiencing mutiny waves. British suppressed it and enacted a law in the name of Defense of India Act 1915, in which the political and civil freedoms were limited. At the end of the World War I, British was very weak. The inflation was very high, so they imposed heavy taxation on the people of India. The flu of 1918 had aggravated things even more. In short, the sufferings of the people of India were at its peak. And even more, the third Anglo-Born War was at the corner. So the frustrated British introduced a new law in the form of Rollat Act, which was an extension of 1915 Defense of India Act, but with even more strict clause. In that, anybody could be arrested and kept without a trial. The due process of law which British owns very proudly, in India they tore it apart. That's what the level of morals they have as a nation. After the enactment of Rollat Act, Muhammad Ali Jinnah resigned from the Legislative Assembly, saying that a government which passes or sanctions such a law in times of peace forfeits its right to be called a civilized government. Protests in Punjab especially in Lahore started after Saifuddin and Satyapal, two freedom fighters, were arrested under Rollat attack. The Punjab was put under partial martial law after the Lahore incident and the coward British was thinking to put Punjab under complete martial law. On 10th of April, some people protested in front of DC office Amritsar. And on 11th April, Marcel Sherwood, an English woman, was harassed by a mob when she was passing through Kuchai Kurichan. And it was ordered that no Indian person can pass through Kuchai Kurichan on his two foots. Exact words of Regnal Dyer were, Indians should realize that an English woman is as sacred as their gods. So the situation became more aggravated. So on 13th of April, Punjab was put under martial law and no four people were allowed to gather. It is a day when the traditional and cultural event of Baisakhi takes place in Punjab on 13th of April and 14th of April. So people were gathering in Amritsar from all around the areas for Baisakhi. The psychopath Regnal Deer lost his control when he saw too many people gathering in Jallianwala Bagh. The Bagh had only one exit and on three sides it had buildings. So Regnal Deer deliberately closed the exit point and without announcing any warning, he opened fire at the unarmed people and shot for 10 straight minutes. It is said that 1500 people had died, among which was a seven months old baby. Such is the brutality of British. Around 120 bodies were recovered from the well that was in the Jallianwala Bagh. People in a try to save themselves from the bullets of the British threw themselves into the well and died. Then an inquiring committee was made which was nothing but bullshit. During the investigation, the bastard Gregnall Dyer claimed that he wanted to send chills of terror into the rebellions group of Punjab. So his actions were justified. When the bastard and butcher of Amritsar was asked during the questioning that if he had any plans to provide first aid to the injured, he said that it was not his duty to provide first aid. The hospitals were open. They were free to go there themselves. Then the disorder inquiry report came in which it was claimed that it was a mistake and error of judgment and bastard Regnal Dyer was only dismissed from his duty. He was not punished. Till today, British has only said that it feels deep regret and it has not apologized. Such is a state of shame of this so-called Great Britain.